I'm Greg Vaniff, inventor of www.dreamcar123.com. Along with my sons Chris and Greg Rizanis, we're the inventors of the Dream Car. We've been working on this for several, several years. It all started a few years ago when Chris and Gregory, my two sons, started playing with remote control electric cars. Before that, my father had an electric wheelchair like this when he had medical problems. This is very close to an electric car because it has all of the components of an electric car. It's very simply plugged into any standard household outlet. Inside of the bottom of this, this plug goes to a transformer. If the transformer goes over to, and charges these two sealed 12 volt batteries. Back in the back here, you'll see the motor that runs this two wheel drive, very similar to an electric car. On the control panel here, there's of course a key. You can turn it on and it, it also has a controller here so you can press this and go forward, let it go, press this and go backwards. This is very close to a real electric car. The, the children nowadays are riding electric cars all the time. There's several versions of this out on the market. They have pickup trucks, they have they have uh, Cadillac kind of cars. It's a very same thing. It plugs in to a converter. This, this here charges up these two 12 volt batteries. In a few hours, these kids are ready to play all day. They're actually going to be already preconditioned to buying an electric car. Today, we are so used to gasoline power, but we also see batteries every day. Over here is a standard 12 volt sealed battery that you use every day to start your car, your pickup truck. The next battery is a sealed 6 volt battery. This is used to start your riding lawnmowers and small appliances in the yard. These two batteries here are 12 volt motorcycle batteries. I also have a variety of other batteries here and here. This one's used to charge up emergency lights in a house. If you have a power failure, you can have lights. These are two smaller types of batteries. This is a pack of AA batteries. These two next batteries are used to power laptop computers so you can be totally mobile. Of course, they're rechargeable. The next two batteries are what are used in RC cars. They're considered a six pack. What they do is they get charged up a couple hours and then you're ready to run your car for an hour or so. The next two batteries are lithium batteries that are upgrade for the RC cars. RC cars are considered remote control cars. These are lithium batteries here and this is the controller for the lithium batteries. They're a lot more sophisticated than a regular battery. These batteries you've seen all your life, they're lantern batteries, they're basically 6 volt batteries. They can power equipment like a uh, portable amp that you see once in a while. Over to the right here is an airplane that is controlled by a controller similar to this one. This, these could control up and down, this can control right and left. The children have been playing with these kind of controllers for years. They control a servo and a speed controller inside of the airplane. Over on the table here, we have several different styles of controllers. They pretty much have in common, this is a steering wheel which, re which steers the cars right and left. Also most of them have a trigger here to make the car go forward and backwards. These style have the trigger here to go forward and backwards and right and left. These are just several different styles. Over here of course this is the dream car model. It has inside of it are the batteries, the controllers, and the uh, transformers. 
You, we've all seen this car in other videos. Over here are what we call RC cars. These are remote control cars. That these, this one's Gregory's, my son's. It has a truck body. When you pick off the body, you'll see inside that same set of batteries. Like I said, these batteries are charged up with a transformer. In the back here, you'll see a standard motor. And you'll also see the gears that run the motor right here. There, there's also a speed controller that responds to your remote control unit. Underneath here, you'll see the controller that controls the wheels going right and left that responds to your remote control controller. This one here is my son Chris's car. It's a lot more high tech than Gregory's. It's, it's four times or five times more expensive. Chris has totally rebuilt his car to be an all aluminum frame. And underneath here you can see that. It's a fantastic car. It's very, very much like a real car. It has tremendous suspension, of course, on both sides here. It has small tires in the front, large in the back. You can have any variety of tires. Underneath here again, you'll see the controller that makes the car turn right and left. And in the back here, Chris has a very high-tech brushless motor. This motor does several things better than mine or Gregory's car. And uh, like I say, this, this next one here, Chris's building, would be built soon. He's got an all-aluminum custom-made frame for it. Very, very high-tech. You can see where this is going to be a fabulous car. He can choose different types of tires for this car. These are very gorgeous aluminum, anodized aluminum tires. Back in the back here, you'll see typical transformers. You just plug these into your six-pack of batteries and charge them up. In the back here also, we have two of the higher tech transformers. This one, and, and of course this one's mine. It's, it uh, can charge a lithium battery. We're all accustomed today in the construction site to seeing these 12 volt batteries. It charges up on this charger. You just plug it into your drill. You've got a couple hours of power. Over to the right here is a Hummer model toy. This is my daughter's toy. It doesn't go as fast, but it sure is a fun, fun toy. Over next to that, you'll see a golf cart. We see these all the time on the golf courses. They generally are, this is a model, of course, they generally run on a 36-volt system, six 6-volt six batteries. Next to that, you'll see what used to be called the Baker Electric Automobile. Years ago, electric cars outsold gas cars. This has batteries all across the bottom. That's how it's designed. Today, we need to get back in the spirit of electrical cars. Down the row here, I would like to show you Chris's brushless motor. It's a sealed motor. This, this, this motor will outlive any motor and it's way more powerful than any of the other motors. These are servos. What they do, and I showed you earlier, they turn the steering when you they respond to your controller, right or left. Very simple. And over to the right here are the cars that we had built at one time. This was using Chris's car. Underneath it, we, we put his car inside of there. This was the very first remote control car that we built before I built the steel one. A little further down the line, you'll see two of the other cars. And I'm Greg Zanis with www.dreamcar123.com. You can go to our website and see several, several more videos. Thank you very much.